how to say that. Okay, so I want to get started. The first thing we're going to do before we get in to teaching you the I and the S, I want you to meet somebody extremely amazing. I love, love, love her to death. Her name is Sherry, and she has actually been in the academy for uh, six months now, and just amazing results in only six months. She is on her way to reversing her diabetes. You know, like I shared with you guys last night, diabetes is a nutritional disease, but it takes time. I mean, if you it takes time to heal. If you if your body has been unbalanced and has been sick for a long time, you know, our body needs love and care and it needs attention and it needs, you know, it needs to be, you know, done, given the right things for a period of time over and over again. So Sherry is a perfect example of being on her way to reversing her diabetes. I'm going to bring her on right now and then we're going to talk about her absolutely amazing results. So Sherry, let's do this, sister. Come and join me. Let's do this. Where are you? There she is. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, you said the H word again. <laughs> Those of you who uh, aren't in, you know, this is an inside joke, but every time we say hi, her dog knows what hi means and goes blue. So, so I should have said sorry about that. Like, oh, or something. That's okay. Hi, how are you? Good. How are you? You look beautiful. I love seeing your hair down. Oh, thank you. Yes. So talk to us. I'm so excited that you're you're uh, you know doing this interview today because here's the deal, Sherry. We did an interview about three and a half months ago, right? Yeah. And yeah. I was. In fact, if you saw that picture I just showed showed you, uh, or I put on the screen, let me share it again real quick. But you guys, this picture right here is the same outfit. Look at Sherry. This yeah. is, and this is was only what six months. Right, that one I took in at the end of March, and the one on the right was May Mother's Day, two thousand. Right, and so yeah. this is what you've done, been able to do in six months. Yep. inside the academy. That is unbelievable, sister. So when you started, your A1C was 10.2. Yes. And now yeah. it's at 7. Yeah. And, and, down. and your blood <laughs> Oh, it's, yeah. We, we're, we haven't even done our six-month check-in yet. It's going to uh -huh. be done, of course. So your blood sugars were what when you started? Well, high 400? Uh, yeah, anywhere from 225 to 400. It, it was bad. Yeah. Um, and you were, how and, are you feeling? Uh, tired all the time, depressed, um, sick all the time. I had bowel issues all the time and, um, just, I didn't feel very good as a person. So, yeah. and, so and so when you decided you wanted to do something about it, what was it that made you decide, you know what, I'm done feeling this way. I just got, I just, what, what was the bottom line motivating factor for you wanting to get some help? Do you think? My doctor added a fourth medication and it was a, it's an injection. And although it's not insulin, the injection part of it made me think that's, that's just the next step is insulin. And I, I did not want to have to go on insulin because it scares me, Yeah. but it, it, and you know, four medications, I mean, and my blood sugars were still in the 200s to 400s. And right. so I was basically killing myself and I knew I had to do something. I knew that I was important mm -hmm. enough to care to be able to yeah. do something about it. And so your, your progress, your disease, diabetes just kept getting worse and worse, right? And yeah. you want, they kept wanting to put you on more and more medications. Yep. And so you made a decision like you were scared to go on insulin. So you're like, I'm done. I got to do something about it. Right. And yep. did you have any clue what to do? No, but I talked to a woman at work, Angie, and she was telling me about your program. And I saw you know, physically, I saw the success and we had constantly talked about our blood sugars off and on. And she kept telling me that hers were going down yeah. and then she even got off 
of her diabetic medication. So, well, I'm speaking like, of being off hmm. diabetic medications in only six months, well, you're off two, two, you're off two out yes. of the four and you've reduced yep. the two. So you, yeah. you reduce two of them. So basically a change in four different medications. Right. Right. And how does that yeah. make you feel? I mean, it honestly. makes me feel awesome. I'm, I'm excited and I'm ready to keep working so that I can get off those two. I, I don't want to be on medication for something that is just because of how I was eating and treating my body. Yeah. So, you know, it, it, it makes a big difference that I'm and one of them is metformin. I'm, uh, I was taking two 500 milligrams twice a day and I'm down to one 500 milligram once a day. So I, you know, I know that's my big, that's another one. Cause, um, prolonged use of metformin can cause dementia and I don't want that. So, mm -hmm. you know, it, it, your program has helped me do more than just lose weight though. I mean, uh, I, I am a food addict, you know, I have always used food as a comfort. It's been my friend. I turned to it when I was happy. I turned to it when I was sad. I turned to it when I was rewarding myself with food and, you've taught me that food is a uh, fuel for a body. It's not a reward for doing something well, you know, and it, instead of craving like donuts and Reese's peanut butter cups and the stuff like that, it's making me almost gaggy talking about those now. <laughs> yeah. But, but um, here, here's the, here's what I want to ask you because because a lot of the women that are watching this right now, okay, they're going to they're mm -hmm. gonna look at you and they're going to listen to you and they're going to be like, yeah, right. Like, because you used to go to McDonald's every single day. You had the yes. food cravings. You you were like addicted for, for reasons why we're going to, I'm going to teach these girls tonight about inflammation, right? When we put that mm -hmm. stuff in our body, it creates inflammation. Yeah. When we have inflammation, yeah. it causes more and more cravings, right? So, right. but these women tonight are going to listen to you and they're going to be like, <laughs> Yeah, right. I, I'm never going to be able to not want to eat donuts and cookies. There's, there's just no way. What would you say to them about that? Because I you, know, say, you, were, you were really addicted to McDonald's. And, and yeah. now you say like you, that stuff makes you sick. You hardly want it. Well, yeah. you got to convince these girls that that's really true. Because I'm not sure they're going to they're, – they're, they're listening to this saying, how can that be possible? Well, for over two solid – I mean, solid years – I went to McDonald's and I got the steak, egg, and cheese bagel, a hash brown, and a large caramel iced coffee. And I know just from past experience looking up nutrition facts on McDonald's that a steak, egg, and cheese bagel by itself had 71 grams of carbs. And that's why my sugars were in the 225 to 400s. You know, I. And then I wouldn't just eat breakfast. I would eat lunch. I would eat dinner. And then I would eat food on top of that because I was just trying to satisfy that, mm -hmm. that addiction, you know, but since I've been feeding my body, what it needs, giving it the nutrients that it needs, I don't have those cravings. I, I crave like cabbage. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> who would it ever think, right? <laughs> I know. Cabbage is like, oh, so good. And then the other day I had a craving for onions. I don't know why, but you know, to me, maybe because I posted, a, maybe because I posted in the group, I was eating onions. Yeah, maybe. We all, we all kind of feed, <laughs> we all kind of feed off each other in the group. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> no pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I just, you know, to me, that is a win because I'm craving things that it is good for my body, not, uh, and the steak, egg, and cheese, I, cold turkey, I quit McDonald's. And now when I drive past there, I don't even second glance, you know, it used to be, I'd be like, oh, I want some McDonald's so bad because I had that craving. Now I don't even think about it. So. Yeah, it, it's it's amazing, and this is why I always have. It's a hard sell. I mean, it's a hard for all these ladies or anybody watching this when they first hear that you will not, you will, I will help them with their food addiction. It mm -hmm. almost seems impossible for them. Like they can't fathom that. 
So that's why I'm so glad that you guys are sharing this because it is true. Mm -hmm. And when you get decreased inflammation, which we're going to talk about tonight, and when you start giving your body what it needs nutritionally and it becomes Mm -hmm. balanced, those cravings go away. And we also, we talked about this yesterday, but the mindset piece of this is important too, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's, you know, it's probably you, even harder than not eating. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is. I can do a three day fast without, you know, I mean, it, uh, sure, it's, it's difficult just because of my food addiction. Yeah. But it's a lot harder facing those feelings that are coming up and dealing with those than it is not eating. But that's what you do. You help us face those things. You help us to think about why we're doing, why we eat what we eat, when we eat it. And, you know, just, and even though I have slipped up a couple times during the six month period, you don't berate me. You don't judge me. No one in the group judges me. You say, go forward. We fail forward all the yes. time. We Leave that to fail. Behind. Yeah. We yeah. have to fail for it. Yeah, yeah. If we concentrate on our failures and we stay there, this is why we stay stuck, right? Yes, exactly. So yeah, let's talk about good. like, let's talk about how you feel now, like physically. I mean, you were, when you started, you were just fatigued and you had mm. bloating and you had some other things going on because of probably all the McDonald's, but yeah. you know, and you were just, and you were 50 pounds heavier. Uh, mm-hmm. You were 51 inches bigger. I mean, seriously. How, I mean, mm-hmm. compared then to where you are now, how, how in the world do you feel? My sleeves are loose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm really excited. I just noticed that within the last few days and I was like, oh, my sleeves have never been loose. I've always, you know, been filled to capacity in my clothing and it, it's an awesome feeling. I have more energy. I don't need as many naps, you know. Uh, I was constantly taking naps. And now I feel better about myself. I love myself. I feel like I'm worth it, all this, mm. you know. And <clears throat> I used to take stairs. Um, it, it would be one foot bring the other one down one foot, bring the other one down. Mm. And now I can just do, you know, just right down the steps and I would be at church and come down off the platform and my son would have to help me down off the three steps, Mm. you know, just because my body hurt so bad. Mm. And now I'm just like, Nope, don't need your help and come right down. You know? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if you notice this Sherry, I'm going to share it again. I don't know if you notice this, but I actually, snapped a little picture this remember this this was the day that you woke up you posted in the group that this was a win because you actually got your arse out of bed early and you went and were were working out and you posted this and i wanted to share this because look at you six months later 51 inches down 48.6 pounds down off of you know two medications plus two reduced and look at i mean you've just done amazing girl amazing yeah, it and I will say that it is hard work, but to me, like you've said before, it's harder being sick all the time. It's harder being in pain all the time. It's harder feeling guilty after stuffing my face with stuff that is crap for my body, you know, and having that guilt and then the the cycle over and over and over again. It, it that is 10 times harder than what I'm doing now. Yeah. It's so true. Yeah. So many women think it's so hard to learn how to eat good and it's so Mm -hmm. hard. And, and what they don't understand is just that, you know what, on the other side of hard is easy because you do the work and it's hard. Pick your hard. It's yeah. hard to have bloating and feeling sick and going to the doctor and being, you know, told you have to have more medications and injecting insulin. I mean, that's hard. Would yes. you rather have a hard or hard time doing something fun in an environment where you're getting positive results, which is look at these numbers you're getting in six right. months. My good, yeah. my goodness. You know, I, I never would have imagined when I started this yeah. that in six months time, my body would be so different. Yeah. in a good way, you know, 
um, especially the A1C, that, that blew me away right there. You know, it went down 3.2, is it a percentage, I think? Yes. Yeah, 3.2%. And I, I know it's going to be better the next yeah. time when I'm well, able to get in and get well, laughed. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm publicly saying this right now, but you will, you will be, you will reverse your diabetes. I'm confident yeah. of it. You know, yeah. it, it, every, it just takes time because as you said, you've had diabetes for how long? 20, how many years? Uh, 15 plus, yeah. yeah 15 plus <laughs> years. So, I mean, the fact that, you know, it's going to take a little bit of time to reverse it, but it, you're going to do it because here, yeah. you know, I know that because you are, you're, you're failing forward. You are mm -hmm. showing up. You're right. making decisions. You're not quitting. Oh, right. quitting. Don't even get me started on quitting. Don't even get me started <laughs> on quitting. I don't. Yeah. I, because I mean, seriously, mm -hmm. where, where are we ever going to be in our lives if we always have that mentality and the attitude that we want to quit every time something gets hard? Right, exactly. Well, and then the fact that you belong to a group, when I have felt like I was failing, like I, you know, wasn't doing what I was supposed to doing, everybody was there to encourage me. Everybody was there. You said, stop beating yourself up about it. In the past, every time I did a diet, I would fail and I'd be like, well, that's it. I'm done. And I would gain back plus pounds that I lost, you know, mm -hmm. with the group, I am getting the support and I'm getting the steps that I need to be able to deal with my food addiction and to deal with my mindset, you know, mm -hmm. and you help me when I do fail, you go through that process of why, why did you do, why did you eat that? Why, you know, and you have to really stop and think sometimes about why you're doing this, why you're putting stuff in your mouth and eating it that you shouldn't be. But when you finally get us to the point where we see why it's easier to accept that and move on from it. Okay, now I know why I did that. I'm not going to do that again. I'm not going to use that as a reason to eat again. So yeah. I, yeah. I love you, Terry. <laughs> well, I was just going to say, you know, we, it's just bringing awareness. I, I'm helping you guys just to bring awareness of our old programming, our old stuff mm -hmm. that has, that caused us to get where we're at today, to get us to not feel good, to get us sick, to get us diabetes, yeah. right? And yeah. I just want to say, you know, as I was listening to you, I just, I started tearing up because I truly do love you. And I, I love the women in my academy so much because I'm so committed mm -hmm. to helping because of this, 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 this type of thing. When I see you, you know, being able to lower your A1C and lose 48 pounds and inches down and, and get, start to become free from addiction, that melts my heart, lights me up. That's why I do what I do. And yeah. it's not about me. It, it's You are doing the work. You are doing it. But the, the, the amount of proud, uh, how proud I am of you is, is beyond words. So <laughs> I just want to say, you know, I, I have a really – I, I just really love you, and I think we have a very – I just feel like you're one of my special sisters in the Academy, and um, I'm so proud of you, and thank you for being a part of the group, and just thank you for sharing your testimony because I think uh, there's going to be so many women that are going to be able to relate to you. Thanks, Terry. <laughs> you got me choked up. <laughs> well, it's how I feel. It's really how yeah. I feel. You know? Yeah. You, you have been – my lifesaver because if I would have continued on the way I was, I would have been losing limbs. Mm -hmm. My kidneys would have started failing and I would have died. Mm -hmm. So. <sighs> As we always do, right? I love you. I'm proud of you. Thank you for sharing. And um, I'm looking forward to being your coach for, uh, continued very long time. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. All right, love. Love right. you. Thank you. So Thank much you. Again. Love you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Oh, my word. Now let's see if I can uh, collect my thoughts here and gather my, gather my um, bearings here. I'm going to 
put her back to attendee. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, cool. You know, it, it, this is what I'm talking about. You know, this is what I, this, and you're going to meet two more ladies. And in, in after I, I do my teaching here, you're, you're going to meet two more ladies that are also so committed to their health. And they've had to fight. They've had to fight for their health. And what is more important than our health, you guys? We are so, what's the word? We are taught. We're getting so much, m much conflicting information out there. Your doctors are telling you one thing. The, the Google is telling you one thing. Uneducated nutritionists and dietitians are telling you one thing. It's like you don't know who to believe anymore. You don't know where to go and who to believe. Well, I just want you guys to know that in this group, I'm always going to be honest and real with you. I'm committed to you. And if you join me, and if you ever become a client of mine, I will love on you and I will help you like nobody ever has because I am so committed to helping because I know what it's like. I do know what it's like not to feel good. I've been there. You guys might not think that. You might look at me as this role model. You might look at me like, oh, she's like this, you know, she has it all together. And, you know, it's like, no, I've been, you guys have had diabetes. I've had cancer. You have diabetes. I had cancer. I know what it feels like. I feel your pain. I am a woman. I know what it's like to not feel good. However, I also know what it's like to come out of it. And I know the journey to getting well. I, that, and that is what I'm teaching you. That's what I'm teaching. It's what I want to teach all of you. I know that process very well. I designed it. I wrote it. I know it. And that is what I'm teaching Sherry. That's what I'm teaching the girls you met yesterday. That's what I'm teaching everybody that's in my academy. This is why I come in this group and I'm, I'm just sharing from my heart with you guys and all this stuff all the time because I want so badly for you to feel good and, and to get what you need to get what you need to make the decision to take care of you. Most of you are sitting on the back fence and you're just, you know, you're, you're just like, you don't know where to start and what to do. And so anyway, all right, wheel me back in. <laughs> wheel me back in. Let's get started here. <laughs> let's just get to, let's get to the, the content of the evening. So um, we are talking tonight. I need a drink. Hold on. It's not alcohol. I'm just saying. I'm having my uh, San Pellegrino, of course. Tonight, I'm having it with my cola stevia. So this actually tastes, I don't know if you guys um, drink Diet Coke. By the way, Diet Coke is one of the worst products on the, in the world for you to be eat, consuming in your body because it causes inflammation. And we're going to talk next about inflammation. So I want you guys to get out your workbooks. If you have your workbooks out, I want you to go to page... Page three, where it says session two at the top, session two, April 28th, Tuesday, okay? But if you are drinking regular pop, regular pop, or diet Coke, diet Coke, diet right, you know, a bunch of different diet sodas out there have aspartame in them. Aspartame is an exotoxin. Aspartame causes chronic inflammation in your body and it causes your cells to actually be more insulin resistant because it's damaging your cells. So what I teach, what I do, what I'm showing you here is I created my own healthy version of Diet Coke. And that is any sparkling water of your choice. In fact, I'm going to give you another hack. Are you ready? Do you see this little bottle? This is cola flavor. Um, they have kajillions of them. They have lemon. They have grape. They have orange. They have English toffee. They have, I mean, everything, every flavor you can imagine. This little jar, I put this in my purse, okay? And if I go out to restaurants, which sounds really actually very pleasant right now, I mean, we haven't been able to go to restaurants forever. But when I used to be able to go to restaurants, I'd carry this in my purse, and then I order charged water, which is bubbly water, which is CO2 water, whatever you want to call it, in the restaurant. And I just whip this out of my purse and I put it in my water. That's what I do. I know. I got a lot. I got hundreds of those kind of tips. Okay? So anyway, that's my beverage. I hope you guys are sharing a, a beverage uh, as we do this class tonight. I hope you have one with you. I need a sip. So... 
We are on page three. We are looking at acute. We're going to talk about acute and chronic inflammation. So we're talking about inflammation. Again, remember, I am going to be giving away some prizes tonight. So you do want to pay attention. You want to jot down the answers in your workbook because I am going to be quizzing you throughout this class. And you might be be able to win some things. Like win something. Yeah. So, so there you go. So here we go. You guys ready? Who's on? Oh, nice. I am so excited. We got a few people on. Sherry's like, drinking my bubbly. I know, right? 